Welcome. So what I'd like to do is show you guys how to uh, um, write the equation of the ellipse given the center, the vertex, and the focus. Um, now the main important thing when we're looking into writing equations, we want to be able to identify for ellipse, is the major axis horizontal or vertical? Because that's going to determine um, you know, what type of equation we're going to write is as far as where the A and B are going to be located. When uh, remember when the major axis is horizontal, the value of A, which is distance from your center to your vertice, um, is going to be under the x. And the, when the horizontal axis is vertical, your A is going to be under the y. So for, to understand that, or to identify which, where my major axis is going to be located, um, I'm going to plot the information I have. So the center is at 0, 0. Uh, my vertex is at 5, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And my focus is at square root of 7, 0. Now, I don't know what the square root of 7 is. I'm at 2.6457513 approximated. But it goes on and on and on and on, right? Um, so I can estimate, you know, again, I'm estimating at 2.612. So it's going to be somewhere right around there. Now, what's very important to understand about the center, the, vo the focus, and the vertex, they all lie on the major axis. So we can obviously see that the major axis is going to be horizontal, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, because remember, whatever the distance from the center to focus is, that's going to be the same distance over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 1, 2, 2.6. So you can see, obviously, we have a major axis horizontal. So therefore, to write the equation, I'll have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared, where a squared is the distance from the center to your vertex, which is 5, over b squared. Now, the problem is we don't know what b squared is. However, we do know the distance from the focus to the center, which is c. All right, And there's a relationship between the distance um, between the center and the focus, the center of the covertex, and the center of the vertex. And that is that c squared equals a squared minus b squared. So all I'm simply going to do is plug in the information I have for c and a, and then solve for b squared. So c squared is going to be the square root of 7 squared equals a squared, which is 5 squared minus b squared. So therefore, this becomes uh, 7 equals 25 minus b squared. Subtract 25, subtract 25. Negative 18 equals negative b squared. Divide by negative 1, divide by negative 1. Um, 18 equals b squared. So therefore, now I can simply write this. Um, uh, OK, so let's get through. Let's just rewrite the whole thing again. Because now we say, well, what is hk? HK represents the um, vertices for your, um, or coordinates for your vertex, or I'm sorry, for your center. So since the center is at 0, 0, I can now write x squared plus b squared, oh, shoot, y squared, where a squared is going to be 5 squared, which is 25, and b squared we solve for is equal to 18 and equals 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you write the equation of the ellipse given the center, the vertex, and the focus. Thanks.